Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. I'm at Windsor Park today. I'm joined by Luke Jackson. Firstly, Luke, how long have you been in the UK now? I've been here since Monday, So, yeah. um, but we stopped in Dubai on the way over just to break the trip up a bit. Because okay. uh, last time I flew over and then flew back within a couple of days, I was... I was knackered by the time I got home, so we just broke the trip up and trained in the heat, which was good. Always helps with the weight a bit, you know. So happy to be back in the UK. I love Belfast, man. Um, the 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 people here have been very welcoming, and um, it's been unbelievable. So the weather's not that good though, so I'm a bit worried about Saturday <laughs> night. We might have to uh, get some umbrellas. Out Hopefully, for the it fans, stays man. dry. Hopefully, it stays dry. Um, yeah, big Bill BT Sport um, <laughs> against you know one of the biggest fighters in the UK, Carl Frampton. Um, would it be fair to say you're, you're, you've got any nerves or you um, look I never really get nerves until <laughs> the day of the fight and, and I try to block it out um, and I don't think about the fight till I'm in the dressing room because you use unwanted energy that you know you like you just burn your energy so um, I'm focused on making weight at the minute and that's tomorrow and my weight is good at the minute so we'll focus on that then we'll worry about the fight yeah. I'm assuming you watched Frampton's last performance against Zernanita, didn't you? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I watched, make a little, a bit. I watched a little bit. Look, um, it's going to be a tough fight, man. I've got to be at my best to, to beat him, and, and I'm going to have to fight the perfect fight. I've got to stay switched on for 36 minutes, and uh, that's the way we've trained. We're ready for it. Yeah. What did you make him saying that he's levels above you? Well, I mean, if you look at the fact sheet, you know, he's, he's got a right to say that. Um, I mean, I haven't fought anyone that he's fought. So, look, but I feel this is my destiny and I feel I'm, I'm going to beat him on Saturday night and become world champion. That's I just feel that's going to happen. How about the fact that everyone's talking about Josh Warrington? Not really Carl, actually. He's been pretty professional. Yeah, yeah Carl's, look, Carl hasn't been talking about him, but everyone else hasn't. You know, the odds are against me, but look, it doesn't matter, man. Odds have been, been against me for many years and... and um, Look, I'm, I'm just I'm just enjoying it all, man. I'm not focused on what other people are saying and all this and mm. or what Carl's saying or what anyone's saying. I'm just focused on me and my team and we're coming to win the fight. Just a couple of more things. Um, what do you make of the fact that it's going to be pretty hostile in here? You know, most of the fans, obviously 25,000 of them, are going to be rooting for the homeboy Carl. Well, I've tried to prepare for it mentally, um, but... We just have to wait and see how yeah, I do adjust to it. Um, it's it's a, it's just about making adjustments in everyday life. I make adjustments and um, day to day. A lot of people, you know, they they live you know week by week, month by month. I live hour by hour, man, and I make adjustments as I go. And I'm going to try and do that on the fight night. What would it mean to your country, Australia, if you pulled this win um, off? I'm sure it's going to. I'm sure it's going to mean uh, you know something special and bring boxing up into the limelight. But for me personally, you know, I'm doing this for myself, man. You know, I'm, I'm, and I'm proud to be here, and I'm proud to hopefully win on Saturday night. All right, Luke, thanks, thanks for your time, giving uh, a lot of time to IFL here. We'll see you Saturday night, but best of luck. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much.